Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm out in an interesting area where a co-worker of mine just mentioned out here she had found some shark's teeth. She kind of gave me an area so I, I hope I'm in the right area. We're gonna find out though. I'm starting in the car because I don't know if you can hear it but it is windy outside. You can see it gusting out there. Look at that wind. So I am a little nervous that trying to film today because I, I don't have good microphones for canceling wind. It might be a little rough. So I apologize in advance if if it's too windy. Anyway, so hopefully we'll find something. I'm gonna start up here. We'll start up in this area and I'll probably work my way down over to those hills and just see what I can find. And of course, if we find anything, here's the GPS coordinates to this location. Wish me luck. Let's get at it. So this first area, I've already kind of walked over it, but you're seeing this kind of dark color and it's either shell or limestone. And I already picked up one that's got some seashells in it, so definitely possible to have some shark's teeth. In this area, we've got kind of like sandstone and siltstone. Just found this really cool formation rock. It really looks like it's man-made, but it's natural. It might have been the impression of something in the middle there, like a stick or another rock or something. I don't know. It's really smooth though. Hmm. I'm, so, I'm guessing though it's probably some kind of trace fossil, but it looks really cool. Just found this cool little crystal selenite, which is gypsum. <laughs> you get it all the time in the desert here. You'll find it all over the surface wherever there's a high amount of gypsum. So I'm not gonna keep it because I've got tons of really good crystals. Now this rock is pretty cool. So you're probably seeing this and going, whoa, are those tree branches? What's going on there? Maybe you might think coral. In this case, I'm pretty sure these are trace fossils. This would have been at the bottom of the ocean in the shallow ocean. So this would, probably wouldn't have been too far from like a coral reef. And these are burrows. These are where organisms that live down at the bottom of the floor burrow that hide from predators and stuff. So I'm pretty sure they don't have any structure to them that a coral would have or anything. So yeah, I really think these are all burrows. <laughs> They're really cool though. And there's probably a bunch of other things in here too. There's probably some shell fossils. And this would be a place to hopefully find some shark's teeth. So far I don't see any, but you never know. There's a decent sized oyster shell on that rock. Cool. Now that I'm down in this little wash, it's not nearly as windy. Anyway, we're definitely getting into more oyster shells and occasionally clams. So the clams look like they're smaller. The oysters seem to be the bigger ones. Cool, getting lots of shells. No shark's teeth yet, but Usually shark's teeth are pretty rare, so I'm not surprised yet, but maybe we'll get to a spot where they're fairly abundant. I don't know, who knows? We're gonna keep working our way that way. I wanna go check out that hill too. This is a great example of something that looks like something it isn't. This looks like petrified wood, but it isn't. This is the fibrous nature of gypsum. Sometimes when it grows, in a nice clump like this, it will look like petrified wood, but really what you're seeing is just these long crystals that just kind of, they, they'll bend and flow a little bit, giving it almost a wood, kind of a natural wood appearance. So it looks like wood, but it's not. This is just gypsum. Yeah, well, I'm on the top of the hill. That's where I parked it back. <laughs> there, there, you can see the car. Anyway, <laughs> so nice, nice view from up here. Yeah, so what I've noticed is the fossils tend to be in the lower layers. And as I've gone up, the layers have changed to where I've not been really seeing any fossils. So my hunch is that the, the shark's teeth need to be somewhere in these lower layers, probably. And they might be in a zone like so. I might have been in the right layer, but the zone was further that way or further that way or something. 
I don't know. Well, I'm going to head down though. I'm going to get in the wash and I'm going to go look through the wash. See if I can find anything that's weathered out. So yeah, it's windy. I haven't filmed for a while. As you can see, there's the car. That's the hill I was on. I went all the way across here. Didn't see anything different than I'd already seen. And now I'm back up here. So I, I found that the layers get more fossils if you go down. And because they're kind of at an angle, like this a little bit, that means going this way gets down. And I got to this layer where there's a lot of fossils, and that's a piece of the oyster shell. It's kind of a nice piece of it, the very tip of it. So, yeah. sorry, it's probably out of focus close up. I got the <laughs> the long range lens on. But anyway, I'm hoping I might have a better chance of finding the teeth out here maybe. I'm back at the vehicle. So I didn't find any <laughs> shark's teeth. As you saw, there was lots of shells, lots of oyster shells, clam shells, and some other cool trace fossils, and a few other interesting things, but no shark's teeth. It could be I'm just in the wrong spot. So I didn't really find anything around here, but on our way out, I wanna go check another spot that I saw on the way in that's a little further out that way. Maybe there's something there. I'm just trying to go off of what she told me about where she went, and that was another spot that I had pinpointed, so let's go try that. Okay, I'm at the second area. So here's the highway, and you see how there's these raised mounds? That's the old railroad spurs. So I was on that part of the old railroad down there, and I wasn't really finding anything. But I was thinking, so my, my coworker, she's not a geologist, and I guess if, you, if you're coming this highway and you were like to stop with kids, this is probably what would catch your eye. So as I stopped, sat there and thought about it, I was like, well, if she found shark's teeth here, well, you know, where the rail railroad used to be, this is probably where she stopped. So let's give that a shot. Let's walk that and then walk this and just see if we can find anything. So I made it here to the first little spur of it. And immediately I'm finding the oyster shells again. They do seem to be a little bit better weathered out here though. So maybe that's part of it. We just need some better weathering to maybe find some of these shark's teeth. I found this. It's a little piece of oolitic limestone. Those are little teeny pieces of shell that got rolled from ocean activity and made into the cool looking rock. Another oyster shell. Another oyster shell. Another oyster shell. A little bit of coal here from uh, when the trains used to go across these ancient tracks. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering when I'd run into a little bit of coal, because they used to mine coal out at Grand Junction. Another cool little oyster shell. So I still am not finding any shark's teeth. So there are a few possibilities. Maybe... Maybe it's just, right now is a bad time of year with all these weeds. It's just so hard to see things. And it's the time of day when it's long shadows, hard to see. So maybe I just need to come back here in the late fall, winter, when there's no weeds, you can see everything, and give it another try. It's also possible that there really aren't shark's teeth, or at least they're extremely few and far between. And maybe what, what she found was clamshell that was broken in a way that made it look like a shark's tooth I don't know either way I still I just I haven't seen any shark's teeth so far and on top of that it's just not a good time of year with all these weeds and I'm walking back to the vehicle so no shark's teeth oh well there might be some like I said I'll come back out when there's no weeds out here give it another try who knows but if not, oh well, it was worth a try. It was just a short day anyway, after work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and remember, there is treasure everywhere.